Of course, what happened during 2007, 2011 was the Great Recession. Fortunately, I had my sales career to rely on. And so I was able to teach my staff, teach my, my sales associates how to lease an apartment. And I, my thought, well, if I can lease a million dollar, I'm sorry, if I can sell a million dollar piece of equipment to a guy with a PhD, certainly I can show my sales teams how to rent out a $500 apartment to a guy making 30000 a year. It's the same principle. Just got to ask the right questions, got to find out how they found you, and then you be quiet and just let them talk yeah. and just, you know, let them fall in love with wh where they're living. And I got really good at it. Okay, can I just stop? Everybody? So right away, yeah. here's Robert talking about his thing. And and right away, Robert is, is tapped into one of my mantras about multifamily. It's a sales and marketing business. It's just a sales and marketing business. And, and it's really interesting that, Robert, that you came from that sales background. And I've said this, one of my most successful students has got over 6,000 apartments. I knew the first time I spoke to him that he was going to be a success. He started with me with zero. I knew he was going to be a su success because he came from a sales background. And he right. understood. It's all about prospecting. It's all about, you know, always, always selling, always selling. Well, it's always about making sure also, too, because the name of the game in apartment investing is the renewal. You make your money when people renew, not when they move in. And that is a set. That's understanding that through the operation side that I'm, I'm very deep into. I live and breathe operations, but it's understanding people. Nobody wants to move. So you know, give them a quality product. Don't make sure there's no roaches around everywhere. Make sure everything works the day they walk in and, you know, make sure you follow up with them when they have a maintenance request. Yeah. And when it's time for them to sign the renewal, they'll gladly do it. And guess what? They'll give you a, an increase. Yeah. You know, I mean, where, where else can you get a $10 rent bump on 200 unit apartment complex that turns into $400,000 of valuation? Exactly. Where else can that happen? Exactly. It's the exactly. single family. Yeah. It's the power of, cap, of the cap rate. It's That's what happens. Somebody pays you $10 more or 200 people pay you $10 more and your family's net worth has just gone up by $400,000. And it's funny, Dramatic. Robert, I want to talk, stress one thing that you just said about uh, it's you make money on the renewal. See, I had all of my all of my leasing agents, I would give them a higher bonus, like a $50 bonus for a renewal and a $25 bonus for a new, new uh, Absolutely. property. Absolutely. What, and they're like, why? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, no, it makes total sense. It makes total sense. I want those people to stay in there. I don't have to pay to turn that unit again. And, you know, why should I pay you more money to get new people in? I want to pay you more money to keep the people there. So yeah, when somebody right. moves out, Charles, when somebody moves out, it's probably $3,000 minimum to get yeah. the unit ready again. Yeah. So imagine if you imagine over the span of 12 months, that's 36,000. So you, it's about is that, that 3,000 divided by a six cap is $50,000. Yeah. You just let $50,000 walk out. Yeah, exactly. But when that person renewed, you made 50, even if they don't take a rent bump, you made $50,000 because yeah. you have no expenses.